we've asked you about the game one experience, you know, game one of the World Series against a former team. What, what does that add to the, the element? What part? Of the um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's going to be emotions there that, uh, that I've experienced before. I mean, I got to come back here in 2019 and pitch a regular season game. I pitched against them in the postseason in 2019. Um, you know, in 2019, they they had a little video before the game, trying to get me distracted, and then and then I pitched against them a couple of times last postseason. So, um, you know, I've already revisited that, and um, and obviously a couple of years have gone by, but you know, I'll always have really fond memories of the guys over there, and. Um, so, but coming back here, you know, it's it's only natural you're gonna you're gonna feel something. What that is, I don't I don't know. Other questions, uh, Ken? To your right, guys. Charlie, you were uh, pretty contrite last year when you uh, jo uh, started the 2020 season after the MLB report had come out on what happened in 2017 uh, with the Astros. You, you, you took accountability for your obviously a, a lesser role for the knowledge of it, I guess. Um, and now you're standing in the way, as you were last year, of them trying to get another one, which you know, I, I, to some would be kind of a, a vindication of sorts. Just wondering how, you know, does that enter your head at all as you're, as you're approaching this? Um, I don't know. Uh, the, what happened in 2017, um, and then going into 18, I saw a really good team um, in 2018 when I was over there. I saw a very good team, a World Series team in 2019, and then I saw a team that was one win away from going to the World Series last year. So, I mean, the, I, I, I never questioned how good those guys, those guys were and how good they are. Um, so that, that's my focus. Like, I'm, I'm pitching against a really good baseball team. And these are really important games. They're really important starts. So that's my mentality. Go to Tyler and then Dave. Charlie, you've had um, this is your third time now, obviously, with three different franchises in the last few years in the World Series. What has that experience shown you maybe about how World Series teams can be built or how possible it is for various markets to, to make it? Yeah, I mean, I guess the – the three organizations were all somewhat different. Um, with the Astros, you know, there was a lot of there was a lot made of um, the draft picks. You know, the the losing see the three 100 loss seasons, and they get a bunch of draft picks. Um, and then you know they're they're scouting their analytics departments. Obviously, you're you're still seeing the effects of what Jeff Luno did here. Um, the Rays, obviously, you know, when I was there, I don't know, $60 million payroll team, heavy into analytics and scouting, uh, developing from within, um, you know, all on a much lesser payroll. And then the Braves are, you know, have a little bit of everything. Um, but what really comes down to is the clubhouse, I think, you know, aside from the obvious talent. Um, and ability to play the game. But to make it this far, I think the clubhouse is um, it's the deciding factor because how, how tight the group is is really what allows you to get deeper in the postseason. Dave. Charlie, that goes on. What I was going to ask you is uh, what Weiss said it takes. He was there in 99 at the Braves. He said it takes so much more than just talent to get to the World Series. Things got to go your way. Yeah. Some luck, some good breaks. Would you agree with that? If it takes more than just talent to get there. Yeah, I, I've I've been on. I played against enough really good, talented postseason teams to know that. Um, you know, just looking over the other dugout against some of the teams that I've seen in the postseason, um, just phenomenally talented, and and guaranteed good groups. You know, good guys. But it's so it's so hard to get to this point. So yeah, Walt's right. And the chemistry is a big factor in that we're talking about. Yeah, I mean the, the the clubhouse, you know how you bounce back from a loss, how you know how how tight you guys are. Say you get blown out or, you know, not getting too high, not getting too low. Um, so those are all factors. Yeah. 
We'll take a last question or two for Charlie, and then we'll go to the inf inf middle infield. Mark, go ahead. Dan's behind. Um, Bregman was asked earlier just about the long relationship you guys have had and how you've been linked. What, how do you view that competition that you guys have shared all the way back to maybe your freshman years? Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a, a unique thing just um, competing against each other in college, and I feel like whenever we've competed against one another, it's it's been at a, an extremely high level, um, just in terms of the teams that we were both on and, and the stages in which we were playing. So. Uh, it seems like the, the same story is true now, um, you know, in the World Series and playing against one another. So uh, just grateful to be able to have the opportunity, obviously, and, um, you know, looking forward to taking advantage of this opportunity. On the fourth row on your right. Charlie, both um, Altuve and Bregman said you were one of the best teammates they've ever had, and uh, they, they really <laughs> – Talk, talked very very highly of you and I, I wondered do you still keep in touch with those guys and um, well, I mean you already answered what it's going to be like but just I just kind of wanted you to discuss your relationship with them yeah I mean when I've exchanged text messages with Brig I saw Tuvi at the hotel last last season or in the postseason he had that he had that one game where he made, made a couple tough errors and he just looked distraught I mean I don't know you know how he felt inside but um yeah i mean i feel like i had really good really good relationships with those guys and um you know and, and that's that's really my focus like when i get into a clubhouse so um you know i'm i'm really humbled that they you know they would say that it's um it's pretty pretty great We'll take a last question for Charlie here with Kelly. Charlie, you've kind of hit on the emotional side of this. How do you approach it, though? Is this just any other game to you? Is that how you go into this, any other start? Or, I mean, can you recognize this as game one of the World Series against a team you know so well? Right. Um, I don't know. Being back here in Houston, you know, having played with a few of those guys over there, um, you know, gone through a lot with some of those guys over there, and and then obviously the stage we're on here, um, so that's those are all things I'm well aware of. And uh, but I I think the you're, what you're alluding to is the trying to maintain focus of the things that you know I would usually focus on during a start. You know, making pitches, prepare the way I prepare, and then just going out there and execute, trying to let it. You know, this distract me, but yeah, sure. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna feel some things when I get on that mound. Uh, I just don't, I don't think uh, there's any way not to. Charlie, we'll let you go. We'll talk to Ozzy and Dansby. Uh, we'll start in the second row here for Ozzy and Dansby. Yep, for both of you guys. You guys came up through the system together. Um, You've obviously, you've obviously been playing together now for a few years. I mean, how surreal is it that you're playing next to each other in the World Series, and, and how much have you enjoyed just watching the growth for each of you? Well, it's uh, it's everything. I mean, we we me and him, we play up on the middle of the infield. We we joke around a lot, but when it's serious work, we we go out there and compete against the opposing team. But we always try to, you know, relay from each other and play as hard as as hard as we can because that's part of our, our game. That's how we play. And he has been great playing against him. He's, I mean, everything for our team. Well, cl yeah, clearly we can't get enough of each other. We got to sit next to each other at the podium too. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's just, it, it's, uh, it's, it's just a testament um, that, you know, you can do a lot of great things in life, but you got to be able to work at it. Um, and we've been doing that now for about six years together. Um, you know, it started in Mississippi. Uh, very hot summer days down there, um, and you know I feel like we've we've just always been able to to really relate to one another on the field, and we've carried that you know into our big league careers, and uh, it's just it's it's it truly is special being able to you know play next to this guy, and um, you know having developed that relationship for such a long time now, so maybe he'll text me back now. <laughs> we'll stay in the second row. Yeah, Ozzy, I don't know how much you, you follow other players, but how much uh, has Altuve been an influence on you coming up and watching him play? Yeah, because people say I can't do, I mean, they, they were saying I can't do the job, I can't get the job done because I'm small. I'm like, 
Altuve is smaller than me. He always done it. <laughs> so the first time I saw him, he, we say hi to each other. He's actually a little smaller than me. So I was like, if he can do it, why can I not do it? So, I mean, he was a guy that I always watched play. The, the way he plays is always hard. And he has been one of the examples that I always watch and do the same, try to do the same or even better. Up front to your left. Dan's made a little off beat. Way back in April, you got a lot of attention for burning sage uh, at the stadium and <laughs> in the clubhouse. I'm just wondering, also being a, a Falcons fan and being back here in Houston, where there was a certain game a few years back, if you feel the need to do any sort of spiritual no, cleansing man. or anything. Or I can't even answer that. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a few years later in a completely different sport. So, And last time I checked, they've won their last two games. So, uh, you know, a little stressful, but... Um, no, I mean this is uh, this is such a unique opportunity to be here. Um, it's such a such a blessing. I know we're all so grateful for this, and um, you know we, we've worked very hard for this moment. You know, ever since spring training, and then all the you know adversity throughout the season, and uh, the things that seemingly could never go our way uh, for such a long period of time is um, I feel like really, really almost like toughened up this team and and given us a level of toughness and perseverance that I don't think I've ever been a part of in terms of a team. Like, this is this is at the top of the list. So, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to tomorrow night. Guys, Do you thanks. think the Sage thing worked? I don't know. You tell me. We're here, aren't we? <laughs>